In this video, I'll go over how to set up and use Git Server on a Synology NAS. Git is an open source distributed version control system that you can use to track the version history of source code, documentation, and files, allowing you to collaborate with others easily if needed. Before being able to make use of Git, we'll need to do some initial setup steps on our Synology NAS. The first is to install the Git Server package. I'll do that by bringing up Packet Center, search for Git, then install Git Server. Next, SSH needs to be enabled because we need to use the command line to interact with Git. I'll enable SSH by bringing up Control Panel, Terminal, and SNMP, then enable the SSH service and click Apply. I'll then click OK on this warning pop up window to complete enabling SSH. The last step is to create a shared folder for our Git repositories. This is done by bringing up the shared folder control panel, then select the create option to start up the shared folder creation wizard. I'll give the shared folder a name, then click next through the remainder of the wizard, and finally click apply to complete the setup. Now we are all set to start making use of the Git server, so I'll SSH into my Synology NAS to get started. Once connected, I'll cd into the directory that was created earlier as a shared folder. Then I'll issue this command to create a new bare git repository that I'll name test.git, which creates the storage location for the repository. Next, I'd like to allow a non-administrator account to access the git server. I can set this up from DSM by bringing up the user and group control panel, then create a new user. In my case, I already have a user that I'd like to make use of, so I'll select the user, then click Edit. I'll then click on Permissions, then assign Read-Write Permissions to the shared folder that was created earlier, then click Save. The second step that needs to be done is to launch the Git Server package from the main menu. Then allow access to the user to be able to connect to the Synology Git Server. Now, from a terminal window on my MacBook, I should be able to clone the test repository that was set up earlier. I'll first cd into a directory that I would like to clone the git repository into. I'll then issue this command to clone the repository as the non-administrator user into the current directory. The command completed successfully cloning the empty repository that was created earlier. Next, I'll cd into the test directory that was created, and now I can start adding content to the repository. As a simple example, I'll create and edit a new file. I'll then issue the git status command, where we can see that the new file is not being tracked. I'll issue this git add command to track the file, then run the git status command once again, where we can now see the file is being tracked. The next step would be to commit the file, so I'll do that with this command here, adding the dash "-m option along with a commit message that I'd like to add. If I run git status again, we now see that there is nothing to commit, but there is also this message that is displayed, indicating that the branch I'm currently on is based on origin master, but the upstream is gone. This is because the repository that was cloned was empty so I'll need to run this command to unset the upstream and fix the issue. Now running git status displays no issues and nothing to commit. Next, I'll run git push to push the changes to the Synology git server, but I get this error message because the current master branch has no upstream branch. I'm also given the command to push the current branch and set the remote as upstream, which I'll run now. The command completed successfully, and if I issue git status once again, we can see that the master branch that I'm on is up to date with origin master on the Synology git server. If I switch back to the Synology NAS command line, cd into the test.git directory, and issue the git log command, we can see the commit that was just added, confirming the push was successfully sent to the server. One additional topic I'd like to cover is the difference between running git clone 
and git clone with the dash dash mirror option. Here I'm going to run both commands, cloning a repository I have on GitHub to my Synology NAS. If I cd into the directory where I just used git clone, we see the contents of the directory are the actual files from the repository. I could edit files, commit, and push changes back to GitHub if I would like, but being that my Synology NAS is set up as a Git server, this probably isn't something I should do here. If I change into the directory where I use the dash dash mirror option for git clone, we see that the mirror sets up the directory as a storage location, like the test repository created earlier. This works great if you would like to move a repository to a different git server, which I'd like to do here. Then you could run the git clone command from where you would like to edit the repository, like for my MacBook, and push commits to the Synology git server rather than to GitHub. For further details on Synology git server and for the list of commands used throughout the video, check out the description below. Also check out this video for additional information on SSH on a Synology NAS. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.